being in that environment in such close proximity to the virus, there's just a point at which everything around you, your clothing, even your own skin, begins to feel a little bit sinister. My name is Nicole Sebecki. I'm a photographer, and I was recently on assignment for National Geographic in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Since August, the Democratic Republic of Congo has been facing the worst Ebola epidemic in the history of the country. It's also the second worst Ebola epidemic in the history of the world. And it's all happening in an active war zone. You also have a tremendous amount of distrust from the community that's being treated. There were several Ebola treatment centers that were attacked in Butembo, which is the epicenter of the crisis at the time. Since then, there have been more attacks, there have been police officers killed, health workers killed, and the reason why people don't trust the health workers is for reasons that I find incredibly rational. They don't trust the government because this is a part of the country that has been neglected for decades. And that's leading to people, you know, not wanting to be tested, avoiding treatment, not following safe practices around burials, and it's making it incredibly difficult to contain the virus. I think it took actually being there on the ground to really understand the emotional component of that as well. The fear that anything could infect you is there, and it's not rational, and I know that. It helped me to understand how these falsehoods could lead to really real violence. I want people to care about what's happening and to not see Ebola as something that only happens far, far away in parts of Africa and has no impact on their lives. These are not rural villages in the way that we've seen in other outbreaks. Beni and Butembo are cities of more than a million people. This is a global issue that I think we should all be invested in.